Thank you, Amu, written and illustrated by Oge Mora. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I am well also. The author of today's book, Oge Mora, grew up with parents who spoke the Nigerian dialect of Ibu. And they called her grandma Amu, which in Nigerian means queen. But for Oge Mora, it means grandma. And this is a story inspired by her grandma. I think you're going to enjoy it. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, on the very top floor, Amu was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned and stirred it and took a small taste of Oh, what a delicious stew, Amu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. With that, Amu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until someone was at the door. When Amu opened it, she saw... A little boy. Little boy, Amu exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell, the little boy replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he sighed. That sure sounds yummy. Amu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had made quite a bit. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some? The little boy nodded. And so Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the little boy said, and went on his way. With that, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. As she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block, until someone was at the door. When Amu opened the door, this time she saw a police officer. Ms. Police Officer, Amu exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell, Ms. Police Officer replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Oh, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds mighty tasty. Amu thought for a moment. There was still enough to share. Would you like some? The police officer nodded. Once again, Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the officer said, and went on her way. And so, for the second time, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block, until... Again, someone was at Amu's door. This time, when she opened it, she saw... A hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Amu explained. What brings you to my home? I was selling my hot dogs down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell, Mr. Hot Dog Vendor replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Oh, stew. The vendor licked his lips. That sounds cool. Quite delectable. So Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the hot dog vendor said, and went on his way. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Amu's door. She fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, an athlete, a bus driver, a construction worker, even the mayor stopped by. And each time they knocked, Amu shared. 
Soon the sky darkened, the street lights brightened, and it was finally time for dinner. But when Amu opened her big fat pot of thick red stew for her nice evening meal, it was empty! Amu sniffled, there goes the best dinner I ever had. Sorry and blue, she sat at the table with her empty pot until... Who could that be, Amu wondered. When she opened her door, she saw... The little boy? The police officer? The hot dog vendor? The shop owner, the cab driver, the doctor, the actor, the lawyer, the dancer, the baker. Why, everyone she fed today was at her door. I'm sorry, everyone, Amu sighed. My thick red stew is all gone. I have nothing left to share. The little boy tugged at Amu's sleeve. Don't worry, Amu. We are not here to ask. We are here to give. The police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor entered with a roast chicken. The baker brought a collection of sweet goodies. Even the little boy presented Amu with something special in a shiny red envelope. Everyone who had knocked on Amu's door that day squeezed into her tiny apartment, and together they ate, danced, and celebrated. While Amu's big, fat pot of thick red stew was empty, her heart was full of happiness and love. That dinner was the best she had ever had. And the note says, thank you, Amu.